Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's video we're gonna do our daily TA on the Bitcoin and later on we also gonna have a quick look on the S&P 500 and also on the CME chart because there I see some important support lines that currently Bitcoin is respecting and now the question is are we at the beginning of a big trend reversal that could take us to our bearish targets or are we still intact here to potentially go up test $10,000 and also break it to the upside. So currently Bitcoin had this breakout from this potential falling wedge here to the upside but we didn't met our target here on the way towards $10,000 where our target was. We failed so $9,800 was the top here and we crashed immediately back down here into this falling wedge and currently we didn't only test here the main support of $9,100 so the main support of this big rising channel that we were in here in the last couple of weeks. We also yesterday wicked below here so we had a bottom here of currently $8,980. So the good thing about this dip was that we didn't create a lower low so we didn't take out here this $8,900 but the problem is that we are also creating here lower highs so that means that we are coming here into a potential breakout zone decisively to the upside or to the downside. Currently we are still consolidating here in this area of around 9000 to 9500. I am currently a bit more bearish because I just expect here another potential dump here towards our bearish targets where the 200 daily moving average is lining up and also the 0.618 fib line based on the last rally that we had up to 10500. But this is what we're going to see later on in the daily time frame. Here in the one hour time frame currently we are still respecting here this potential falling wedge. We are back here in this pattern and also it looks like again that 9300 currently is our new resistance. Only if we really can break out here again to the upside and also take out this high here at $9,800 my sentiment would change again back into bullish but in the lower time frames I still see a potential dump incoming. So here in the one hour you can see that after this drop we had this breather here to the upside and currently we are trading again above the 20 moving average which is a bullish sign. Also currently we are holding it as a support after this little retracement here. So the next step would be here also to break the main resistance here of this falling wedge of around 9370 and therefore also break the other moving averages here in the one hour time frame. The problem is that as you can see we are hitting here the 50 in the RSI after being oversold. So there is a very high chance that here we're getting rejected and we start to trade again below the 20 moving average. But therefore we have to see an hourly close here above the 20 moving average. So above 9270 in order to be shifted again towards our potential resistance up here at this $9,400 region. Stochastic here is also overbought so also here it looks like that we could see some more pressure here to the downside and also here in the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are trading here in the upper area and we still have a little bit of room left to the upside and also to the downside. So currently I think we're gonna probably retrace back down here towards 9240 before we could see a, a possible attempt here to break and test again this 9400 dollar top here also the top of the Bollinger Band. MACD is now shifted to the upside so let's see if this is enough here to bring again the price above 9400 and potentially even better above 9500 dollar. We still have a very high chance to recover back up also to retest here the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame and possibly also break it but currently at the time of recording it looks like that the new resistance here at 9400 will hold and we are potentially now shifted to the downside and we should expect here a potential 
dump. So if we're gonna see here a test of this $9,400 region, here in the four hour, also you can see that all the moving averages are more or less lining up there. If we are getting rejected here and we are not able to break through, I think this could be a good opportunity to go short, even though I'm not a fan of going short because the targets are very limited. But right now this could be really a good entry and also you would still get the funding rates because currently we still have way more longs than shorts. The RSI is also below the 50, so also here we could get easily rejected here from the 50 level in the RSI in case of a potential test here of 9,370 area here and also the stochastic is oversold. So in the four hour, it looks like that we still have some fuel left to the upside, potential also to take the stochastic here up to overbought condition, test here the new resistance and then have another leg to the downside. And as I told you also in yesterday's video, we could in theory drop here towards uh, $8,700 again, but currently we're getting saved here from the support here at $9,000. And therefore we have to go into the daily time frame on the CME chart we're gonna have a look later on that but keep in mind this level here of nine thousand dollar and if we have also a look on the bollinger band here in the four hour time frame you can see that we're still trading here in the lower part macd still shifted to the downside and we are just testing here the first middle line here of nine thousand three hundred we could go up here to test the middle line of nine thousand four hundred seventy in theory and also here getting rejected so as i told you as long as we're not starting to build up again support above nine thousand five hundred and create higher highs we are definitely at the beginning of a potential dump so the trend could be reversed already now and we should expect the possible bearish scenario where we first going down again towards 8,000 and lower before we're gonna go up again and break also the main resistance of around ten thousand dollar at this time and now if we go over to the daily time frame here on the bitstamp chart you can see that yesterday we had a bearish close so below the 20 and 50 daily moving average we didn't have this confirmation that the 20 and 50 is now support so you can see after we broke out to the upside we didn't have the confirmation when we came down here that this is now the new support and currently also we are trading still below these moving averages which is very bearish you can see the 200 daily moving average at 8300 this is my first target to be reached in case of a big breakout to the downside and this is also where i'm starting to scale in my long and also to buy some more bitcoins back in with the fiat that i took out here in this uh, region rsi is starting to trade below the 50 stochastic is also shifted to the downside but very close to oversold condition here also we still have a lot of room left to the downside so i think in case of a breakout here to the downside 8300 it's very easily to get reached and if we have a look also in the bollinger band here in the daily you can see that after overshooting it to the downside currently we are still not retracing back up and also we didn't test here the new resistance of around 9400 up to 9500 dollar which is the midline here of the bollinger band the bottom currently is here at 9100 and also the macd still shifted to the downside and since we are here now in the daily time frame let's go over to the cme chart because here very important to see where we bounced here yesterday so after this drop that we had here on the bitstamp chart we went down to 8995 and here on the cme chart we went down to nine thousand and eighty dollars this is also perfectly coinciding here with the main support and also with the 50 daily moving average so based here on the cme chart it looks like that this potential ascending triangle or at least here the formation before a potential breakout to the upside is still intact so here it looks like that we are still keeping up with our support creating higher lows and we have a clear resistance up here at ten thousand five hundred eighty dollars so at this fib line here at ten thousand five hundred seventy was the top and also the main resistance of this previous run that we had over here after we saw this big crash here in march we recovered immediately back up and you can see that here the 0.236 fib line is also coinciding with where we bottomed yesterday so here on the cme chart we see still a very bullish formation here we are squeezing here between the 20 and 50 daily moving average so far here on the cmes we are keeping up with higher lows which is very bullish in my opinion and also here it doesn't look like that we are losing the 50 daily 
as a support also the 20 daily currently is acting as a resistance so i think here we're gonna stay in this region between 9050 and 9420 for quite some time before we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside or to the downside potentially towards the beginning of next month so you can see that here on the cme chart which excludes weekend data it is looking way more bullish than on the spot market and that is why i still have some hope left that we could see a potential breakout from 9400 and also create a support above 9500 and potentially retest here the main resistance so the hope is not over yet that we could have this breakout from 10500 dollar and not see a potential dump here towards the 200 daily and lower i'm prepared for the scenario in case that we break out to the downside and so also you should be but in case that we really will break out here to the upside and also break the main resistance of 10500 and start to test again 14 16 18000 also for that scenario you should be prepared because in the higher time frames it is still looking more bullish than bearish and those time frames are way more important than the lower time frames even if you go over to the weekly here we can go back to the bitstamp chart because here on the weekly also we are still trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average you can also see the 200 which is coming up here towards the 0.618 fib line at six thousand four hundred dollars so this is my target in case of a bearish scenario here also to scale in my long down to this area we have the rsi still above the 50 level stochastic is still overbought so let's hope in case of a breakout here to the downside to cool off here the stochastic and then gear up here for another leg up and potentially also break the main resistance because don't forget we could be still in a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern here in the weekly time frame and that's why i think it is very likely that we have another leg down create this right shoulder and then have the last leg up here towards the main resistance and also break it but enough of bitcoin for now let's go over to the s p 500 mini futures because also here if we zoom out in the weekly you can see that currently we are still here in the upper area we are still trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average rsi is also above the 50 if we go over here to the daily you can see that currently we are very close to the 200 daily moving average at three thousand dollar yesterday i also pointed out that most likely we are going down here to test the 200 daily moving average and hopefully also hold it and if we switch over here in the lower time frames here in the four hour you can see that we came down here to the 200 moving average and currently we are holding it as a support and i think also here after this breakout from this consolidation wedge we could be in here for a confirmation that now the previous support is the new resistance so everything here around the 2050 moving average at around three thousand one hundred dollar i think in case of a pump this could be the new resistance and from there on we start to trade again to the downside but in case that we really can recover and start to build up a support again above three thousand one hundred dollar the s p 500 maybe get saved and therefore also bitcoin most likely will start to pump because we saw this dump yesterday on the s p 500 mini futures bitcoin also followed so if the s p is also losing here this 200 moving average in the four hour time frame i think also bitcoin most likely will continue to drop and here on the s p in theory we have a target here down towards 2800 dollar this is where i think we could bottom in case of a continuation of this breakout here to the downside so right now we should have always an eye also here on the s p 500 because bitcoin currently is still following it perfectly and as long as we are so much correlated to the s p 500 so to the stock markets i think we should do the ta for both assets and remember wherever we are going to break out you can trade it with a long or with a short so if you still need an account on one of these exchanges where you can trade bitcoin and other assets with the leverage you can find all the links that you need to sign up to those exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonuses and of course to get all of these bonuses sometimes you have to do some stuff like putting a deposit or whatever so definitely go and check them out if you're interested in trading i recommend you all of these four exchanges on bybit for example is very easy to trade with cryptos especially bitcoin ethereum 
Here you can easily trade, they give you a lot of bonuses. The exchange is very liquid and this is the, also the exchange that I'm using the most. The other one here is Femex. On this exchange you can also for example trade with Tether, US dollar and also gold you can trade. Even with your bitcoins you can trade here gold. And the other one are Primex PT and BTR. BTR is also an exchange that I recommend you, especially if you want to trade with Tether, because here you can trade all these coins that you see here on the list only with Tether. You don't have to own the coins. With Tether, you can trade all of them. And also here, you get a lot of bonuses if you're using high volume, because you, here you can get up to $260 if you're using high volume. And if you have Discord, make sure also to join our free Discord trading chat. It's completely for free. Everyone is welcome. And I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So if you have Twitch, follow me all over there. You find all the links that you need down below here in the video description to follow me. And also if you need some other stuff like a Bitcoin miner or also other links how to get some free cryptos, you find everything down below here in the video description. Check them out because some of them could be very useful for you too. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, we do daily TA videos and also I'm doing a Bitcoin giveaway with every 500 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe here, tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one. Thank you very much my friends and see you next time. Bye.